Afternoon folks, only me, Sean, from Happy Days Veg. It's Tuesday the 19th of January. It's a miserable day, dark and cloudy, lashing down with rain, as you can hear, I'm in the polytunnel. The rain was torrential last night, but even worse than that, I was in the shed working on some of the little projects and I thought, right, I need some potatoes to go with my evening meal. And I forgot that I'd put my potatoes uh, I, I harvested a load of potatoes and I meant to take them out and put them uh, in the dark in the shed and now I forgot and I left them in here with the lid down saw those potatoes yep those ones there uh, golden wonder they're crap so I'm not worried about them but all the rest of them have gone furry and mouldy and soft so Look, it's hard to tell on the camera, all ruined, I'm gutted, I could cry because, <clears throat> you know, these are the potatoes that were supposed to be seeing me through the winter. So, let me show you here. It's not all doom and gloom, I still have these containers, yeah, not that one, that's got old strawberry planting, but... You know, we've got two, two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eight. There's 19 containers there. Uh, so, you know, I've still got potatoes, but not as many. So I've learnt my lesson there. Learnt my lesson. I'm gutted, because these potatoes... Look at the size of some of them. You know, stinks. So I'm gutted. Anyhow, on another note, in my other uh, raised coal frame here, I've got all my leaks and I checked the temperature in there. It's 10 degrees at the moment in there. Uh, the lowest temperature last night in there was seven degrees. So that's lovely jubbly. So, uh, but I'm really keen to see what the temperature's in there on a, a really cold, uh, cold night. So, yeah, what am I up to? Oh, I'm just making, making some uh, little watering cans for my seeds. Now, when you water your seeds, you don't want to be using anything like this because the jet of water coming out is too powerful and it'll disturb the seeds. So I've been, I, I use these, yeah? It's all right, I haven't got my glasses on now, so. These are a little watering can that you screw onto the top of a pop bottle uh, and use to water. Now, I had loads of them. I had a dozen of them last year. But because the air can't get back into the bottle, you squeeze the bottle and squeeze the bottle and the bottle only lasts, a, you know, a few days. It all gets battered and crunched up and everything. So I thought there's got to be a better way of doing it. And there is, but I'll show you that video a bit later on because I'm going back to the shed. I've got the kettle on. I'm going to make a cup of tea and I'm going to show you what I'm up to. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Happy days.